Hello, welcome back for another shave video. Hope you've had a uh, good week and uh, looking forward to the weekend. Um, today we're going to be using the last soap I bought from uh, John Mad Maddock. It's uh, an artisan I've never used before and uh, the scent is fantastic. It's uh, Dr. John's and it's uh, Aphrodite. As you can see from there, it's uh, blackcurrant, rose, apple, and pomegranate. So you get a really nice fruity scent. Uh, and then with the um, the rose, oh, it smells really nice. It's quite a, uh, it's, it's a soft soap. You can make an, in, uh, an impression into it. As I said, never used it before, so uh, really looking forward to it. I left this one last out of the four because it's the uh, best scent uh, for me so uh, the brush I'm using today is the Razor Rock it's the BC uh, Silver Tip Plus Soft style knot BC obviously being the black and clear razor I'm going to be using today is my R41 or well, the head anyway and I've put a um, the Razor Rock uh, Jaws because I uh, uh, Jaws handle I put I put on uh, yesterday on the Facebook groups um, about the R41 and uh, spoke to Sorrel Shaves or yeah Sorrel Shaves or Nick Sorrel and uh, I said to him how do I get a you know most comfortable shave. Or is it even possible to get a really comfortable shave? And he said, use the sharpest blade you can find. Feather. And a heavier handle. So that's why I've taken off the uh, R41 handle, which, quite, which is quite light. And put on this uh, heavier uh, style handle. It's got good knurling on it as well. Uh, post shave is going to be... Because of the sort of fruity uh, soap, I've got uh, Humphreys. We uh, watched uh, Chris, another cut above, use this the other day. It's the uh, cucumber melon. And uh, after shave splash is going to be a uh, fine l'orange orange noir. And uh, finish off with uh, soap commander integrity. Unscented uh, after shave balm, and something else. If you uh, follow me on Instagram, you may have seen a picture on my feed yesterday. Or it's this big box I went to collect yesterday from uh, the sorting office, post office, sorting office. So uh, that's really heavy. And I got a card through the uh, door yesterday saying that uh, there was a parcel at post office sorting office and I had to uh, pay a customs charge on it. So, um, it's a nice day yesterday, so 20 degrees, so I walked down, there's a couple of mile there and a couple of mile back obviously. Um, yeah, hopefully I know who it's from and I know what's in there. Um, so uh, at the end of the video, I'll go through the uh, end graphics and then at the end I'll do a sort of a, a Paul H style uh, video where I show the contents of the box. Right, I've just uh, dipped a brush in the sink of water and uh, wrung most of it out. I don't know how this uh, soap is going to perform. Good, I hope. I'm not normally sort of a fruity scented person. No, I, I don't mind it, but you know, but this one, it's, it's something else. Sort of, sort of 
here there a minute ago. <clears throat> Just take out what's left in the tin. Put in the top there. I don't know how much water it can take. Uh, so you find out. Yeah, so I hope you've had a good week and uh, had some good shaves. It's the uh, boy's birthday yesterday. So those that left uh, birthday wishes for her, very much appreciated. I did pass them on. Somebody left me a uh, sarcastic comment this morning. Got home from work and I uh, went to my channel to see if anybody left a comment. No, so I, I can comment back as quick as I can. And somebody said it was weird of me um, dedicating my Shave, last shave to someone. And he said, um, I'm going to have a bath soon, but I don't know who to dedicate it to. So I blocked him. And then I messaged, comment back, I said, um, so you're going to have a bath and then you're going to video it. That's not weird. If you're gonna watch watch my videos and you don't like them, there's the door, you know, just you can't say something nice, don't say nothing at all. So if you're watching this, whoever left that message. Go back to your bedroom, finish masturbating, and then come back when you've grown up. Right, where were we? Yeah, with the, uh, the head and then the lighter handle, um, I sort of obviously going to be more top heavy but if the, the handle is a little bit heavier that sort of take that off I've sent uh, Dwayne's razor back he's R41 with my um, Smoke a slant for him to try. So hopefully he's got that now. And with the heavier handle that helps that, you know, all you have to do is sort of hold on to it and then just let it uh, sort of slowly slide down your face. Yeah, Sorrel Shave's uh, latest video, 
to use the R41 head with, um, I think that's a Razor Rock Bazooka handle. feel really nice in the hand. It's kind of weird, I've never really seen many R41s in sort of Facebook group, but as soon as I got mine or was interested in one, they sort of seemed to pop up. I don't know if you're really sort of careful with them. And make it feel so good you've accomplished you know shaven you know you may have one or two weepers but um you know, you've, it's a really close shave right now let's apart from a little bit here which you know the growth goes up there but pretty much that's i could get away with not you know doing another couple of passes but um I also noticed in uh, Nick's video he only done sort of two passes, so. Right, we'll just pause here, get some fresh water, and I'll be back in a second. Okay, we're back, got some fresh water. Just wants to face off. Uh, the other morning, I was coming to the end of my shift. I thought about what uh, I rather said about my videos the other day. About them being too long. But then I, th I added it up. The time that my videos last, over a week, two for say 40 minutes. If you then go to his, the videos he make in a week, So sort of around about, say, 15 minutes. Add all those together, and it's roughly the same time. But then I uh, got home, I emailed him and told him. But I still don't think it sort of registered what I was trying to say. He just said that oh, there's nothing wrong with your videos. It's just they're too long for for me to watch. But I thought I watched your watch your videos through a week, 
and it's the same time if you sat and watched two of mine. And let's go uh, across the green. And from what I uh, read from my comments, a few people got uh, spooked towards the end of my last video. That's uh, just sort of a notification for uh, text messages. Uh, my phone in here the other day. Um, I sort of keep my notes on there if there's something I want to say in a video. And I'll uh, have my phone in here, but I'll see somebody text me, and uh, that's why. But I've left my phone in the bedroom today, so you're alright today. I just saw uh, Chris's another cut above. His uh, face shave with the um, sterling winter green. Never seen a guy so hyped about a soap. Mm, nice. So I'm learning to drive. You take your, your lessons through the uh, your mild razors, and then you sort of work yourself up to uh, your exam, which is the R41. And uh, for your, your skills have grown through using the mild erasers. You know, to obviously not uh, not applying any pressure and all that sort of stuff you learn. And when you use the R41 and you come out the other side and you've passed. You feel you feel fantastic. You've used a, a razor that's 
known as being the most aggressive razor and uh, you come out the other side unscathed which I think I have today I think I'm... there's a few pass up um, a few touch-ups I've got to do so I'll just uh, pause again just the camera and uh, get some fresh water and I'll see you in a second so here we are for the not a third pass but touch-ups And the scent on this soap is on the around about five, I'd say. I'll say using the uh, heavier handle does make a difference. Listen to the uh, Brush and Soap and Blade, Blade podcast last night. And the uh, well, previous day I'd messaged uh, Rick about um, no cheap blades being uh, double wrapped where the uh, more expensive feather blades were just sort of single wrapped, but um, it did sort of highlight that uh, these feather blades, although they're single wrapped, they do have the uh, the wax dots, which uh, st obviously stops the uh, blade from moving around. Um, but I think I'd prefer the sort of the double wrapped because you've got that. Uh, wax or glue gunk on the blade. You now you've got the problem of get, either getting that off or uh, if you don't you stick it straight in your razor. When you take the razor apart to clean it you get all that uh, glue stroke wax um, on the razor.
I think when I use this razor, I'm going to have to accept that I'm going to have a, a bit of blood. But I know at the end of the shave, my, my face is going to be pretty much BBS. So. I'm going to do the top lip now. Thing I'll do today, I think. I'm not sure I've uh, I've done a three pass and a touch up when I had Dwayne's. Yeah, Dwayne's uh, razor. Yeah, that's pretty good. Well, more than pretty good. Excellent. Uh, stick the Humphreys on. I was going to say Thayer's, but <laughs> Humphreys. It's uh, alcohol free, that says. Melon, cucumber. More cucumber melon, is it? Yeah, cucumber melon. You get that smell, but you also get that. Uh, the butchers will come through, which you don't get on the fires. Excellent. I think this is my uh, number one razor now. Overtaken the uh, the progress, obviously, because it's it's a, a more aggressive razor. Uh, it's not an adjustable. You know, if it's progress is a little bit too much you can dial it down but um, I consider I've only used the R41 this is my third shave with it no overall I had two shaves with uh, Dwayne's and one shave with mine right whilst this is drying off let's go for the stars of the shave soap today was the fantastic uh, Dr. John's, Aphrodite, uh, blackcurrant, rose, apple and pomegranate, and the razor, so Franken razor again, it's the uh, R41 head with the uh, razor rock jaws open comb handle, first shave on the uh, feather blade, brush was the Turn it around the right way, Razor Rock. That's the uh, BC Silver Tip, Plus On, Plus Soft uh, style knot. Got a few weepers there, but they'll stop. And then you just saw me use the uh, Cucumber Melon, Humphreys Witch Hazen. Now you'll see me jump putting the uh, fine orange noir splash on. Always get a little burn with this anyway. Healthy dose there. Got it out. Because the uh, shape was so close. Oh. The 
face will look a little red for a couple of hours, but hopefully that will die down before I have to go to work. It's got menthol in it, so and uh, so is the balm. This is a unscented balm. Well, I mentioned in a um, previous video about three new wet shavers on YouTube. One was, um, it's told me called his channel um, Shave of the Day, but he's changed it to uh, Shave and Story. Is there a uh, plan words because he's a uh, surname of Story? There's a little bit there. Got you. So that is that. Sorry, got a bit of towel in my mouth. Right, I'll now pause here. I'll go through the uh, end graphics. If you want to see what's in the box that's, uh, that I show you at the start, carry on watching and uh, it will come up. So uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for your likes. Thanks for your comments. Any questions? Nice questions. Leave them in the comments box below. If you're not subscribed, then uh, click this side for subscriptions and uh, click on the bell for uh, uh, notifications for future videos. Have a great weekend. I'm saying all this just in case you don't want to, you only want to see the shave and you don't want to see what's in the box, but I'm sure you do. So, see you in a second. Cheers. And here we are for the uh, unboxing. Uh, just in case it's a tearjerker for me, I've got my tissues. <laughs> Cause I, I know roughly what's in the box, but I don't know any particular items that are in the box. Um, here's the box. And um, I opened, I've just cut the, uh, the seal, so it saved me sort of a bit of time. So, See if I can open it and hold it at the same time, it's so heavy. Oh, there's a box in the box. As you can see, nicely packed. Make it a bit of a, a bit of a mess. But I'm gonna have to pause this again so I can cut the uh, seal off this second box. And I'll see you in a second. We're back again. Now we'll open the second box. Um, I don't know if you remember a while back uh, I was mentioning that uh, I got a comment from someone that um, I'd heard about but never spoke to. Uh, Don the Navy Goat and uh, he commented saying he's been watching my videos for a while which I didn't know and this was sort of the first comment he'd made and he said that uh, could I email him and send him my uh, postage details um, because he had some razors to send me. Now I was gobsmacked that he had actually left a comment and he was actually been watching my videos so to to have the offer of uh, him sending me some uh, razors was again just blew my mind and uh, we've eventually arrived obviously so let's go into oh, I was actually printed off some details of the uh, the razors that he's got in the box for me so uh, yeah, let's go through. 
Now, if I go through the video, um, through the video, looking at these razors, and I'm not sure what they are, Don, if you're watching, just uh, quote the time that you saw the razor, and then say what the razor was. But um, so I've got to now go through these and match up these to what's in the box. I'm guessing that one's a flare tip, Gillette flare tip, twist of open, superb condition. So you can just twist the bottom here, yeah, yeah, nice, nice motion, excellent. Now I'd be happy with this one. But obviously there's uh, there's a lot more. Oh, there's this one. That's a, an adjust, slim adjustable, is that? That's got the uh, adjustments at the top here. Wow. I think you have to open these before you adjust. Uh, the, uh, the aggression of the blade. You hear that click as it changes. Amazing. Now you see these uh, vintage razors on on other videos and you don't really, you do appreciate them but you don't appreciate them until you're, you've got them in your hand yourself. And the paint on the numbers is, they look brand new. Excellent. This one. Assume that's the Gillette black tip. How's this one open then? Ah, just a little bit tight. Lovely motion again. In excellent condition. I don't know, Don, if these are from your personal collection or you've picked them up from the wild. Because um, I know over the years, you know, I've been watching uh, uh, wet shavers YouTube videos like uh, Paul H and um, Chris Bailey, I Lather. I know you've sent them uh, a bunch of razors, and we've seen those uh, through their through their shaves. Oh, this one I think uh, uh, Ken Lee has got. It's a black handle flare tip, I believe. This is just off my head. I'm not, you know, if I'm, if I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, then uh, please correct me. It's got a nice knurling handle there. Another nice motion again. Oh no. If there, was, if there was one razor that I'd wish um, I wish that was in this box. Is in this box. It's a Gillette Fat Boy. Look at that. Perfect condition. That's an F4 that says on there. I've never had a razor that's uh, had a, a, a date code on there. Excellent. You can see the, uh, that's where the adjustment is. It tells you what, what adjustment you're on. Obviously that one is three. I've, I've seen uh, you know, like Kevy Shaves and uh, Paul H. 
he's a fat boy. And uh, funny enough, I was looking on uh, eBay this morning and the prices that these go for, like £150 plus shipping. The shipping was like £12, £15, something like that. So I assume they're like from America. Just look at the plating on that head. It's like it was made yesterday. Awesome. Awesome. Now I've got to find uh, some kind of razor storage so I can display these in my shade then. We're not finished yet. Uh, Kirby actually shaved with this uh, particular razor the other day, I believe. It's the uh, Gillette uh, Red Tip Flare, I believe. Look at the nailing on that. Wow. Now, Don did say, uh, what type of uh, razors do you prefer? And uh, I said I prefer double edge. I can get on with them more easily. Um, I said I've, I've tried sort of a vintage single edge, but I can't. They're good shavers, but um, the blades don't really last very long. You might get, I'll get probably two shaves out of one. You know, for, for what they cost, um, you know, I can get more blades, DE blades, than uh, single edge blades for the you know, same price. That's uh, excellent. Good weight. Good weight. All these razors are good weights. And I just can't wait to uh, to use them. Oh my god. It's in the bag this one, but this is a uh, blue tip. So uh, I think this one's the, the least aggressive. I uh, think there's blue and then black and then the red. This one, I don't know what that is. It's uh, an open cone. And so I've got to go through the... Uh, I think this opens at the bottom here. I might not. I'll find out anyway when we uh, eventually get round to shaving with them. Oh my god! I think this is a Parker variant, which has only recently come out within the last few months. There's this one, and then there's a, the black handled one, which has got the uh, head very similar to the uh, Merca Progress. I've run that room <laughs> to put this stuff. Just put it on there. Oh. Every razor I pull out of here, it just gets better and better. That's a, obviously, a, I assume that's another Gillette. That's a gold one. With the uh, twist at the bottom. Twist to open. Oh, this is uh, another Mueller razor. That's the um, it's at the R eighty nine with the uh, safety bar along there. And it's got a chunkier, thicker handle than the um, the uh, the regular R forty one. When I say the R for regular R forty one, I'm in opposed to the uh, the twist. R41 twist, which has got a slightly fatter handle. So, oh, excellent, excellent. I've, <laughs> I've, I've just ordered a, uh, a clone version of this next razor, a uh, Chinese clone. Um, 
gobsmacked. It's the Merca Future and the silver or chrome. And that's uh, adjustable as well. It's got the, you just turn the handle to get the right. It's got the uh, little notch there. Can you see that? Obviously you adjust that down to whatever aggression of the blade you want. And then the top just pulls off. Put the blade in there. And then just pop, snap that back on again. Wow. No, Paul put his video up the other day where he used uh, all three of his. But amazing. Amazing. Can't thank him enough, Don. No, as I said in previous videos, I just make videos to show you my shave. I don't expect people to contact me and say, can I send you this, can I send you that? Um, what else have we got here? Looks like some vintage blades. Persona 74. Tungsten Plus. I'm not sure, but I think um, Dave Gonzalez uh, he's used one of these blades and he's got probably more than 10 shaves. I might be wrong. More than 10 shaves from one of these. Fits all double edged blades. I don't know how old these are. Perhaps it's in that uh, description there, but um, I'll have to have, have a look. Five double edged blades. Almost too good, too good a condition to uh, open and use. That's something you can uh, have in your, in your den just to display. What else have we got? Uh, Gillette Super Stainless. More vintage blades. This is unbelievable, Don. Really is. Um, Gillette Super Stainless. Ten blades. Sorry, I keep going off camera. Um, wow, look at this one. Gillette Platinum Plus. Look at the uh, blade dispenser. Looks like it's a, a metal one. Not seen anything like that before. Let's. No, is that a razor? Mm. So, some Lurtz blades. I really am, I'm, I'm running out of space here. And that's a, looks like a little razor. Oh, nice. It's a slant look. Wow. It's not, it's not a heavy one, but it's, uh, it's not light. <laughs> Sorry, this uh, video has gone on a bit long. So, I hope you agree it's uh, all worth it. Just uh, pop that back in its box. Excellent. 
to show you the back there as well. Insert used blades here. Wow. I've seen these, but um, I think they're more for the uh, um, uh, people in America. I don't think we can get them here, or we can't get them easily anyway. I think that's another blade that um, Ken Lee's got, it's the uh, Persona. The, the, these are the uh, lab blue ones. If you could just sort of leave a comment. We are, we are getting to the bottom, honest. Some more vintage ones. Oh, these are Schick twin double edged blades. Excellent. Oh, some of these have uh, fallen out. But, uh, got loads and loads of the uh, Paul Silvers. Oops, fallen into the sink. Well, probably a hundred, hundred pack here. Let's put them back in the box. And last but not least, um, a soap that was made for Don. Uh, by Phoenix Arts and Accoutrement and it's his own soap the uh, United States Navy Goat so I've uh, seen a few uh, show the days with this absolutely brand new never been touched sorry about the light might be able to see a little bit better there oh yeah has it got the, uh, it's not got the notes on here, I don't think. Oh, it's got, all right, okay. Just seen it. It's cleverly disguised within the design of the, you can see here, Lavender Bay. So obviously that's Lavender and Bay Rum. And once I've read that, I can pick both out. Wow. That's a great combination as well. So, another new soap I've got to use. Um, amazing. Thank you very much, Don. Much appreciated. I wasn't expecting all this. You know, if you're going to send me a couple of roses, I'd be more than happy. But uh, for you to send all these, you know, there's got to be quite a bit of money here. Um, you know, for the, the price I've had to pay for the, the customs charges, it doesn't matter. Um, they just, the contents of this box just outweigh uh, the, the money I've had to pay to get this parcel in the first place. So, uh, thanks very much, Don, again. Um, I guess I've got a lot of <laughs> razors and uh, blades and uh, this soap to use within the future videos so uh, I hope you enjoyed the unboxing I definitely did uh, have a great weekend I know I am and uh, I'll see you next week for another shave sorry the video went on a bit long but uh, I just had to show you the contents of the box so cheers see you bye